The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It's football season in Chattanooga, where the mocks are back-to-back -back SOCON champions. We've got the best football players in this room. Caught at the 25, down to the 20, down to the 10, touchdown Chattanooga. Well, I think the fan support part of it is huge, because our fans are phenomenal. Wants to throw, and it is hit. Led by head coach Russ Huseman. Come out and play with unbelievable energy today. Play with the chip on your shoulder today. You guys belong. Let's roll. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football, hosted by head coach Russ Huseman and the voice of the Chattanooga Mocs, Jim Reynolds. Brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. By Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. By FSG Bank, proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, and it's December, and the Mocs are still playing football, and that means good things have happened. UTC goes to round two of the FCS playoffs. On today's program, we'll have highlights of UTC's win over Fordham in the opening round and preview the upcoming contest against top-ranked Jacksonville State. Rematches in the same season in college football are rare. We'll take a look at that as well. Mocs and Gamecocks, game two. Between the two this season, UTC lost a three-point decision in the opening game of the year. Go to Jacksonville to take on the top-ranked Gamecocks this Saturday in round two of the FCS playoffs. All that and more when Inside Chattanooga Football returns right after this. We celebrate you, loyal UTC fans, who brave sunburn and parking game after game. You super fans who live, eat, and breathe your UTC sports. And you, family of fanatics, passing down your game day traditions. No matter who you are, Mighty Mox, FSG has you covered. Get the exclusive Power C debit card and show your UTC pride. Together, we'll ride the rails to victory. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Big one this week, Fordham. Um, you know, we've seen them in the playoffs quite a few years now, and um, you know, a little surprising that that uh, that it was them, but. Uh, we're excited. I know our players are excited to, to start the playoffs and to get moving. And uh, uh, we're playing a really good team, like Jay said. I mean, their running back is, is probably the best running back in the country at our level. Um, he was freshman of the year. He had 1,800 yards last year, and he's got 1,600 this year. And um, he is he is an outstanding player. Their quarterbacks are transferred from Marshall, who's having a great year for them. First year starting. I think he's thrown 29 touchdown passes. They're big and physical up front. Uh, they play a lot of young guys out at wide out, um, but have a lot of team speed out there. They got a big 6'6 tight end, um, who's really a good pass catching guy that, that poses a lot of problems. Um, some mismatches with your secondary and linebackers. Uh, they got a very good running back. I've seen their quarterback. He does good with uh, doing his reads. He's got good feet. Uh, thrown for 2,600 yards, a lot of touchdowns, so he's pretty good. So we're interested in stopping him. Defensively, uh, you know, they're, they're probably not playing <clears throat> statistically uh, Yards-wise, points-wise, where, where they've been in the past defensively, but um, they play hard. Uh, you know, you can see they're well coached. They've got athletic ability on that side of the ball. Just a, a fine football team we're playing, and, and 
But anytime you get in the playoffs, you know, you're never going to play a bad team. You're going to play people that deserve to be there. Um, I've won a lot of games. You know, it's, so it'll be a big test for our guys, but we're excited. No, I no, I actually I like it a lot more than than practice during the regular season. You know, uh, starting to get a little cooler out there at practice it just has more of a more of a football feel to it, I guess. Well, I, there's no denying Fordham's offense can put up some impressive numbers. Um, I don't know exactly how many points per game they score, but I was looking at their schedule the other day, and it seemed like every game was. You know, they scored 38 points in this one. They scored 49 points in this one. They broke 50 uh, a couple times, I think. So there's no denying they they can put some points on the board. That running back they've got over there is is a phenomenal player. You know, I, I don't know if it's a slight that they don't talk about us quite like that. Uh, you know, I don't think that we really need that. Um, this year we've kind of just gone out and did what we needed to do. You know, probably nothing, nothing over the top flashy. You know, I don't, I don't know how many we're averaging this year, but it's not as much as Fordham. I can promise you that. But we've, we've done what we needed to do when we needed to do it, and um, and we've uh, pulled out some wins. It's a combination of both. It's, you know, um, every week could be your last week. Um, it's nothing like that atmosphere though, because it, it reminds you a lot of high school, just being out there and and you basically have to fight to keep playing. And uh, it, it's, it's really exciting. I guess it probably does more to me because now I know there's no guarantees for me, you know. Uh, every game from here on out could be my last game playing football here at UTC. So it, it definitely feels like like a winner go home first round of the playoffs type of game for me. Um, you know my my time's running out here, so I really have to make the most of all of that because um, you know from here on out you never know when it's going to end. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook. Find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. 77 days ago, we sat in this locker room and we said that game 77 days ago would not define us. You guys remember that? Yes, sir. And we said we'll see them in the playoffs. Well, boys, you got your wish, baby. We're going to Jacksonville, Alabama. And we're going to get a rematch. Playing an excellent football team, I think everybody understands that and knows that. It was pretty physical the first time we played them, yeah. Um, and I would anticipate it's going to be a physical game again. You know, they got after us pretty good there in that first game, so we're going to have to play better uh, if we want to have a chance to win. You know, the one thing about Jacksonville State, watching on film, they, they've, they've really gotten better as the year went on, too. They're a very physical defense. Um, got great size on them. Um, we were able to do some things. Um, they were able to do some things against us as well. They were able to stop some of our things. But they're doing a pretty good job on defense. I mean, I believe in our offense 100%. I think our offense can go against any any defense and do good, a good job. And I think, you know, as our part of the defense, we just get the ball to the offense and let them do their thing, so. You better bring your best because they're going to hit you whether you're ready or not. Um, and for me, I mean, it's either I'm getting hit or I'm hitting them, so. It's one of those physical games where you're just going to put your head down and go into everybody. Uh, I, I, I don't think it feels like a rivalry game. I think it's just, it's just another game for me, personally. Uh, I mean, every game is just another game to go out there and play. It's, it's just another week. Um, it just it happened to play out that way that uh, we got JSU. I don't think anything happened to where they wanted it to be a revenge game or anything like that. 
they just an opponent we have had some close games with, and I th I'm pretty sure this one will be a close one too, but uh, I, mean, I don't think it's necessarily a rivalry. It will be the second time playing them this season, so we've kind of felt each other, each other out on the field, uh, kind of learned some of their tendencies, they learned some of ours. Uh, so we really just got to go out there uh, this week, prepare the best, watch a lot of film, um, do the best we can, and go out there and execute on uh, Saturday. Uh, a lot of times our team plays better under pressure. Um, and I think that's one thing that's, that's great about our team is we're at our best when our back's against the wall. It's, you know, everybody's going to be there. You know, everybody's watching, you know, you know. So, I mean, it's, it's fun. I think people just get up for big games. I mean, I, I think that's what it is. It, I mean, at this point in playoffs, it's do or die. You know, I don't know how the game's going to unfold. It, there's so many variables there you just never know. But it, it, it all comes down to who makes plays. Every time you tee it up, it's a different game. And uh, we'll see how this one goes. It's time for the Student Athlete Spotlight, brought to you by Southeast Bank. A different experience, something different than what I was used to. Um, when I decided that I was going to transfer from UC Martin back in uh, last December, I started to reach out and network to some local colleges from where I'm from. And I landed with Coach Wade, and we worked out a situation that best fit for me. And that's what brought me up here. It's something that every athlete doesn't experience, obviously. It's, it's different. It's against the norm. But I look at it as a positive because, you know, out of all the four coaches that I've had, every one of them brings something different to the table that can, you know, that you can take pieces of each one and mold it together and make something positive out of it, something beneficial. So instead of just kind of being down and sulking about something different every year, I just kind of use it as a positive and just add it to motivation, you know, and build off of it. That's from childhood, you know, just from the way I was raised, you know, we never. I was always taught never accept losing. You know, you, you're not going to win everything, obviously, you know, but always put your all into it and never be okay with losing. So, I mean, I guess that's just kind of a childhood trait that has stuck with me for the years. I think that just comes from things that I've been through in life. You know, a lot of different forms of adversity I've faced. Um, and, I mean, really the only way to get through things is to stay with an optimistic mindset and if you don't maintain that you're just you know you're not gonna it's gonna be hard to persevere I'm not gonna say you're not gonna do it but it's gonna make it even tougher This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is brought to you by FSG Bank. Proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics. Wide receivers, far side, no score. Here's Derek Crane, gets the handoff 10, stays on his feet 15, on his feet across the 20 up to the 21 yard line. He might have just. Three receivers far side on second and 13. Quick pass complete. Will Young breaks a tackle. 40 breaks another. 45 first down. Midfield 50. Driven out of bounds on the far sideline. They're having success sucking him in so far. Split backfield. Trotter. This time it's Bagley. Up the middle. Running room 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown Chattanooga. Ricard trade Bagley for the box. Western Touch Illinois with the lead. Third down short. Houston right up the middle. He's got the first down and more. Not only crosses the 35 to pick up the first down on that on occasion. Box going for it, and Derek Crane cuts it upfield, and yes, he's got the first down. All reliable, Derek Crane. On the right Just side, two receivers left side. Jacob play action, pulls it back with time, goes long, home run ball, wide open, end zone, touchdown, Chattanooga. C.J. Ford had his man beat. Jacob Huseman on the numbers. And it's a two touchdown lead for Chattanooga. Well, Anderson, the quarterback, takes a snap, box collapse, underneath it's picked. This should be a pick, six, far side, on the foot race, touchdown Chattanooga. 
How about that for Cedric Nettles with the pick? Chattanooga, first and 10 Rams on the 36. Play action again. Anderson in trouble, and he'll be dropped at the 41-yard line. Loss of about five, and again, Brevard the single setback. Anderson, the quarterback, takes the snap. Brevard gets the call up the middle, hit in the backfield, and dropped. Mox have stopped him on downs, never got to go forward. As soon as he got the handoff, he was hit in the backfield. The game, three picks so far this year. Third down for Chattanooga, Huseman keeps it, turns it upfield, 50, 45, 40, 30, 20, 15, inside the 10. Snapper, holder, kicker on line for Chattanooga. Enrique Ribeiro's field goal attempt is good. Mox on the board once again. They have scored every possession. Now have eight most plays. Second and nine, pulls it back again. Steps up in the pocket, hit and dropped. Listen to me. Yeah. Well, Listen what, to me. Well, what, what has not helped them is and it's that second down, about five and a half, six. Anderson pulls it back again, in a crowd again, and sacked again. Back at the 35-yard line. Wow, no time for sergeants back there. I mean, you got to beat them. Hand off Derek Crane, trying to go wide, far side. Block by the receiver, crosses the 25 and picks up the first down. Stewart, two wide receivers, far side. Ward on the near side for the box screen. Pass complete underneath, spin at the 50, 45, 40. Nice move, C.J. Ward. How'd that look? Box will get the first down around the eight yard line. Houston drops back, looks over the middle, and it is complete for a touchdown. Got the slant that time to James Stovall. Boy, with a defender all over him. They attack one of the players. First down and 10, 35 yard line. Hand off Derek Crane, right up the middle for five, right up in the middle for 10, right up up the middle for 15, 16, 17 yard line. One play. First and 10 on the Fordham 35. Pass complete far side, Alfonso Stewart. Shake and bake down the far sideline, 20, and driven down to 15 yard line. This drive is four man front now on second down and 10. Hand off Derek Crane right up the middle. Breaks a tackle, breaks the plane. Touchdown Chattanooga. Derek Crane goes the final 14. Broke one tackle. Or the snap, Jacob Houston to hold. All Baylor alums, as I mentioned earlier. And the kick for Enrique Ribeiro is good. The kick and gets great hang time. A little bit of a high snap block. And recovered. No, it goes out of the end zone. Well, it is safety time for Chattanooga. Not touchdown Five time. Line. It's second down seven. Jacob fits, turns it upfield, runs, and gets the first down inside the 45. Down today, the Emerald Coast Classic. Jacob pulls it out, slant over the middle of the field, complete, and that will be a touchdown. James Stovall. Stovall goes what? 38 yards. I'm going to Jacksonville. Jacob Huseman takes a knee. Your final score, Box 50, Fordham 20. We celebrate you, loyal UTC fans, who brave sunburn and parking game after game. You super fans who live, eat, and breathe your UTC sports. And you, family of fanatics, passing down your game day traditions. No matter who you are, Mighty Mox, FSG has you covered. Get the exclusive Power C debit card and show your UTC pride. Together, we'll ride the rails to victory. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Welcome back to Inside Chattanooga Football, joined by head football coach Russ Huseman. And I mentioned this a moment ago, if you're still playing football in December, good things have probably happened. Yeah, it means you had a pretty good year. Uh, but you know what, when you get to this time of year, uh, out of the 24 teams, 23 are going to end up with a loss. So <laughs> hopefully we're not one of those 20, 23 teams, but uh, it's a tough deal, uh, but uh, we're excited to be playing. 16 teams remain in the playoffs. There's no easy ones out there in the schedule I looked at. Doesn't look like it, but uh, all we're worried about right now is the one we got. And uh, But you know coming in that, that everybody's going to be good if they're playing in this tournament. Fordham had the similar record of Chattanooga. They came up runners-up in the Patriot League, and you guys knocked off the Rams on Saturday. Jumped out to a nice early lead, got some points from offense and defense. Played pretty well, didn't you? I think all three phases, you know, we probably – other than some lapses defensively in the second half, I'd say probably our best game of the year as far as execution and how we played with the, with the energy we played with. 
so I, I would say it's probably the best one. And, and you know, and again, we beat Fordham, uh, and and I think they have a good team. I mean, they beat Army this year and had a really nice season. So proud of our effort uh, on Saturday. Just talk about getting pressure on the passer. I'm not sure drop back passers are not dinosaurs in the world of college football anyway. But against your defensive front, I thought they had a pretty good day. Yeah, I think we sacked him five times in the game, which is which is a gr good amount. But uh, you know, he he we did have a lot of pressure. Even when we didn't sack him, we forced him out of the pocket. He had a couple scrambles early, and then we contained him after that. But um, you know, anytime he can't set his feet and throw the football, uh, you know your defensive line is doing a good job. But we've been good all year rushing the passer. Got some points from your defense as well. Yeah, how about that? Um, you know, it, it, we, we dialed up a blitz, and Lucas played it exactly the way we uh, we practiced it and, and put himself in a great position. And, it, and as soon as he picked it, uh, you know, quarterback was hit immediately and everybody you know he was on the ground they had nobody that could even be close to getting him and, and that was good to see and blocked one as well got a safety there as well yeah Dale Warren got a block on a on a punt and you know we weren't we weren't bringing a block um, he just happened to, to, to work hard and you know and they missed an assignment and, and anytime you keep coming and uh, we tell them all the time you, you know even though we're not blocking the punt you guys come like you're blocking it, and Dale did that, and it was good to see. See, what was fun, I thought, you know, one time you had to kick a field goal in the first half, and you guys were upset about that. They were on him, on Dale a little bit, for not getting the touchdown, only settling for the safety. <laughs> yeah, he tried. <laughs> he tried. I think if he'd, you know, if he'd have fallen on it initially, but, you know, anytime you can, uh, you can block one, whether it's a safety or a recovery or a touchdown, I mean, that's a huge deal right there. And, uh you know, they had to kick off. We got the ball in the 50. So, um, you know, we probably got seven out of that one anyway. All right. Preview Jacksonville State. They're number one in the country, and they're number one for a reason, aren't they? I think so. Um, you know, I talked about after they played us how good I thought they were. And then when you see them play Auburn, um, and you, until you watch the film, and that was really the first time I had seen it is when we played them and watched the film and saw how good they were. But – you know, after that, I knew they were, you know, top one or two teams in the country. Their offense had four guys on the offensive line on the all-conference team. The quarterback's good, running back's good, receivers are good, and defense, they only allow people, what, 16 points per game or whatever. Yeah, they're playing really good both sides of the ball. Um, and you're right, to see four first-team offensive linemen, that's almost unheard of uh, in this day and age. But um, they're good, they're solid, they're well-coached. And uh, they know what they want to do offensively and defensively, and they got playmakers. And, and that's what got us last game. You know, the, the, the kid Josh Barge made – they made two big fourth downs uh, when we didn't get them off the field, and, and they ended up beating us. But, you know, somehow, some way, we got to make those plays this week. Mox in Jacksonville State, that's a 2 o'clock kickoff Eastern time Saturday in Jacksonville. Round two of the FCS playoffs. Highlights next time on Inside Chattanooga Football. Inside Chattanooga Football has been brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. By Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. By FSG Bank, proud to be the official bank of Chattanooga Mox Athletics.